Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you how you can create a dynamic table based on the dates in another table. So what do I have over here is the orders table and uh, we have dates like order date, ship date and things like and dates like those. So order date will have uh, a, a date where which is the minimum date the, the the day in which we started taking the order and maximum date the last day in which we have took the order or the latest date in which we have took the order so uh, so how we how we can create a table which is dynamic based on these two dates and uh, be a part of our model well to do that what do you need to do is come into this modeling tab and within this modeling tab you need to click on this new table and when you click on this new table expression will come and we will call it calendar and the function name itself is also calendar where it asks the start date which will be using the minimum function we will say order order date so let's go down order date and the second date will be your max order date so we will come here order date dang where it is order stage come on let's try this okay so we just go down there there you go yeah sometimes it's just difficult for me to really scroll through with all these different fields so why not just write write the entire name and get, get this thing. Alright, so our function is complete. We have specified the minimum date, maximum date and whenever you will uh, open up the sheet and whenever the data is refreshed, your calendar table will also refresh. So that's the beauty of it. Based on the minimum and maximum function, you will find all the dates. So we click it over here and now within the model, if you go, you will see the date table here, right? So if we bring it over here, and we can then connect with the order date right so that way our date is being created these will be the continuous states if we just go it over here one two three four five so it has just what it has done is simply created all the dates between the start date the minimum and maximum date and we can then utilize in our power bi table for any function for any calculation or anything and there are many many calculation that you will encounter that you can do with the help of this table. Alright, so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.